Hey everybody, I'm Jason with Thunderbird. Let's make email easier with another quick Thunderbird tip. We know that email is a vital part of your workday and probably just as important in your personal life. But sometimes you're gonna have questions and you might need some support. So we wanna tell you how to get help from the awesome Thunderbird community. You probably know Thunderbird is open source software and a global community of contributors helps improve Thunderbird daily by adding ideas and code and bug fixes and documentation, translations, and user support. So our approach to offering support reflects our commitment to open source and open development. We invite knowledgeable, friendly people to help out their fellow Thunderbird users. This means fewer barriers to you getting help, regardless of your native language, or your time zone, or your skill level. But before we tell you how to get help, here's a quick way that you can help yourself. Sometimes a custom setting or Thunderbird add-on might be causing your problem. And there's an easy way to figure that out. It's called troubleshoot mode. This is a special way of starting up Thunderbird that can be used to find and fix problems with your installation. Troubleshoot mode will run Thunderbird with some features, like add-ons, and other settings disabled. If the problem you're experiencing does not happen when troubleshoot mode is on, then you've already done a lot to narrow down what's causing the problem. So always give troubleshoot mode a shot before reporting a problem. To learn how to turn troubleshoot mode on and off, just follow the link in the description of this video. When it's time to ask that question or get that help, the best place to visit is the official Thunderbird support pages. And this is part of Mozilla support. We affectionately call it Sumo. There's a link in the description of this video if you need it. It's at support.mozilla.org backslash products backslash Thunderbird. You'll find an extensive and always growing knowledge base of articles covering Thunderbird's features and helpful how-to guides on customization, privacy settings, exporting, and much more. But if your search doesn't produce a satisfying result and you can't get an answer, you can ask the community a question from the same page. All you'll need is a Firefox account and an email address to receive notifications about responses to your question. But we do have an alternative for you, and that is a site with nearly half a billion monthly active users. It's ranked as the ninth most popular website in the entire world, and that of course is Reddit. You might already have an account there. We have our own subreddit group where Thunderbird volunteers and staff answer user questions and share important updates. You can find it at reddit.com backslash r backslash Thunderbird. And Reddit works pretty well as a support forum. It has fast notifications, threaded conversation view, and a really easy to read interface. If you can't find your answer elsewhere, give Reddit a shot. Okay, before I say goodbye, I wanna give you two quick tips that can help the Thunderbird community better help you. The first one is screenshots. Screenshots are so helpful, so please include them. Taking a screenshot of the problem you're having is just a great way to show the developers and volunteers what your problem is, especially if you're having difficulty describing it with words. And the second tip is to always include your operating system and Thunderbird versions. We want your problem solved as quickly as possible, and so do you. One productive step towards doing that is to always include your operating system and your exact version of Thunderbird in your initial question that you post. To find out what your version of Thunderbird is, click the app menu and then help, and then about Thunderbird. Now obviously, we hope you never have any problems with Thunderbird, but if you do need help, we hope these resources and tips help you solve them. Let us know in the comments if you have a good Thunderbird tip that we should turn into a video. And thank you so much for watching. Until we chat again, happy Thunderbirding.